Matanum here and this is a very quick tutorial on how to make random sounds with uh, sound cues. So for example in this level I have a little lake which I grabbed from the learn tab and in the water planes here so I just download that and, uh, and below this uh, I made a little blueprint which does certain water stuff when you go in and one of them is going to be to play a sound uh, so that when you enter the water it's going to make a splash sound uh, so the first thing I did was to go to uh, freesound.org and here you can uh, browse through many sounds I found this one that I liked and then in Audacity and then in Audacity I simply uh, divided some of the sound waves and uh, did some modifications and then I click them, simply export, select, detect audio, and then once uh, you have everything in here, I simply drag that over here to my folder in the assets, and uh, Unreal Engine is going to create these files. Uh, the next thing I do is just right click and go to sounds and create a sound cue. Uh, name that something you remember, and then open that. And uh, what you will do is grab a wave player. And in here we're going to tell it to play a sound, which we just made in the water splash. So, and then we're just going to divide this. So I have four random sounds. And then I just go and select the proper. Okay, so to copy them quickly, I do Control W. Uh, you can drag many more if you want. Then I'm going to go to random, so that uh, every time the this sound cue is played, it's going to pick a random sound. Uh, we can play a note to preview what they sound like. If we play sound, if we play the whole cue, nothing's going to happen because it's not connected. And for the last step, I'm just going to create a modulator, which is just going to add a little bit of variance to the the way the sound plays. So you can see just picking random noises and, uh, and it works. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, in my little uh, blueprint for the water volume I'm going to create a... I have a box here which has a little event when the something overlaps. In this case it's a character so what we're going to do is simply before the character because it's really any object that goes inside the box uh, so before the character goes in I'm going to play a sound so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to drag the spin and then sound and play sound at location and here we're going to select the sound cue so mine is SC water splash for sound cue and to get the location, you're going to drag this pin out, the sweep results, type in break, hit result, and you're going to get all this information uh, from the point where the object and the box uh, overlap. And I'm just going to drag the location, so the sound is going to be played at that location. Uh, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to go uh, to test it, because it should work already. And uh, when I play, here we are. At the moment, there's some lava, <laughs> lava particles. I haven't uh, fixed that stuff. So now I'm going to jump into it. And again, more lava, but uh, you can hear it. And it's random. So that's how you do them. Um, so very useful stuff. And I hope you liked this video and uh, that it helped you out in your projects. And uh, well, goodbye and good luck with your projects.